brown girl like I'm more than the color of my skin I'm a girl that likes the same That song is about racism I, I started writing that song in 2013 after an incident the Vodafone Music Awards um, my friend was sitting out uh, supporting alongside my brothers and sisters uh, there was a guy in the audience like close to them every time I went up to win an award he'd say racist like you know comments and stuff and my friend told me afterwards and you know I was really happy just winning all the awards and stuff but um, Soon after she told me that, what happened, it kind of killed my buzz and it was important to win these awards, but at the end of the day, like, that didn't really matter because, you know, someone could say something like that about my race. Ruined the moment for me and that's, that's when I started writing Brown Girl. And Brown Girl, I'm just saying, you know, I'm not just the colour of my skin, you know, there's more to me, there's, like, layers of me. It feels great. It feels awesome that other people feel strength in the song and that this is something that they can, you know, play and feel empowered by. Yeah, that's how I feel. This um, done by Andy Tawafiafi at Tao Pao Te Tao. And I always go to him. He, he did my hands a couple years back. I just wanted to get something that represents my culture. And, you know, this is just me just showing off my, you know, my blood. I'm Samoan Indian. And this is what runs in my blood. And that's what it represents. Every album represents a different stage in my life and it's different, it's just I've just grown and I, you know, I've just gone from a girl to a woman. <laughs> so that's how I feel, that's how I look at it. The jungle, where things will this album is just uh, a collection of everything that I've experienced since then, since 2012. That's a long ass time. So the album's mainly about love, life, and heartbreak. I started working with Jeff from Truth and Soul that's based out in New York. They sometimes call him Jeff Dynamite. He worked with a lot of people that I admire, Adele and Aloe Black, and just a whole bunch of people that, you know, their, their music I connect to, and I felt like it was the right fit to do an album, a whole album with them. I got to work on the album organically, like we have musicians together and just jam in a room. That's the way I like to do things, just have a jam and see what fits, and we got to do that. The last show I did um, in Auckland, Nick of the Woods. Time has come, everybody. Can you please give it up? Make your warmest welcome for Aradna. Give it up, give it up, everybody. I say welcome, welcome to the jungle. Where things will never be the same You can try to hang on the outside It was just an awesome vibe, positive, everyone was happy and it was packed like sardines. <laughs> but I love that kind of vibe, like, you know, it's kind of more intimate, like, because you're, like, very close. <laughs> but that was probably one of my favourites so far. 
free freshest things. I always mumble and I fall about all the time, especially in interviews. Like we've probably done this so many times. <laughs> Take again, again. I love to wear ear love lovers every day, all day. That's all I wear. <laughs> Uh, I even use my sari as a ear lover lover right now. <laughs> Wrap it around. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's more than three fobby things about me, but yeah, we'll stick to that. Uh, I'm close to my family, so it's always hard to be away from them. And, you know, always hard to have someone to talk to when you're going through something. Uh, you know, being on the phone, that's like not enough sometimes. And that's why I came back. And plus, I, home is home. It just keeps me grounded and reminds me why I started in the first place. Yes, it's forever, it's forever.